Harry, can I just say, right, what was it like getting the keys to Marvel and to go, there you go? <laughs> I was thinking well, about it I over the weekend. It was fantastic. I mean, you know, obviously uh, when Marvel knocks on your door, you answer the door. Um, and I remember my first meeting, uh, I went, uh, I, they had this hallway and it's got all the costumes. So you walk in and there's, you know, Iron Man and Black Panther and, you know, all, just all of the costumes um, and, and, and like the, the real ones, you know? So it's like going into a, uh, I don't know, you just, it's a, it's a mind melt. Um, and then, I, and I also remember, um, uh, I, I was in the boardroom uh, waiting for everybody to come, you know, because there's a team that comes in and there was Thor's hammer and it said, pick me up if you dare. And I, I looked at that hammer and I was like, I'm going to pick that hammer up. I'm going to try to pick that hammer. And I thought, you know, it's got to be a joke, right? That I'm not going to be able to pick that up. And somewhere there's going to be a camera watching me, you know, like trying to get the damn hammer. <laughs> um, so I admit I did not pick up the hammer. Do you know what? It's kind of like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory when it comes to Marvel movies. You're walking into it. It was fantastic and a very, very nice uh, team of people. And um, uh, so it, it, which is reflected in the movies, obviously, they're full of heart and um, full of, uh, you know, vitamins. I call it vitamins in the ice cream. But um, uh, it's, it was a joy to work with them and, uh, you know, learned um, a, a boatload. Uh, and, um, you know, the results were very, very pleased with. Uh, you know, it was been, this was an incredibly important story and I felt it was really, um, in you know, from my perspective, the most important story of the century, because we were, you know, talking about the shield being carried by a black man, and what was that going to be? This iconic red, white, and blue uh, shield that represents so many things to so many people, um, and was you know, in the origins of the of the MCU, um, it was uh, you know carried by a white man and very much a defining feature of the, the, you know, the beginning of the whole universe, the MCU universe. So um, for that mantle to be handed over to a black man to see whether or not to take, you know, the point was, will he take it or won't he take it? Is it something that means anything to him and to his community? And, yeah. and for us too, you know, what, what, it, what does that look like? Is it more exciting as well that it's not a movie and it's a series? Like for me, I felt that you know, when you watch a movie, it's done, it's gone, you're finished. But now I have something to look forward to every week, you know, so it's kind of with me for a couple of weeks, like I can digest it a bit more. Is that what you guys are thinking about it when it comes to a series? Better yeah, than you know, it's, uh, it's really interesting because that was the old way, right? You had it roll out every week uh, and then it sort of turned into this, the binge thing. Um, but the, coming every week now is uh, a, a kind of a real, it feels new and fresh. But you're absolutely right. It does give you time to um, percolate a little bit on it. And if we're, you know, we're dealing with some very big themes and so, uh, and characters that you want to, um, uh, you know, ponder and, and sort of get to know as part of your, you know, uh, synapse memory. <laughs> um, so I think it's a really love, it, it also is kind of event TV uh, weekly because a number of people uh, contacted me through the weekend saying, now, you know, particularly with the pandemic of it, now we have something every week we can look forward to with the kids because it's, you know, family, it, it, kids can watch it and parents can enjoy it and it can be an event together. So that to me is uh, the secret sauce. Have you had many people asking you for spoilers? Like, is there going to be people appearing? Is there, you know? It, oh yeah, all the time. Uh, none of which uh, I have fallen prey to yet, so. <laughs> Um, what are the lads like? They, 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 they look like they're a bunch of crack, you know, like that they're mischievous. Oh they are hilarious. Um, so much fun. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, you know, that was part of, I, I just had to sort of stand back and let them do their thing because it's not like I, I brought much to the party. They were very good friends. So uh, there was a lot of ad libbing and a lot of, um, you know, improv in the moments to let them just do their thing. And, uh, and they have a real history together as friends. They've obviously been part of the MCU for, I don't know, 10 years or something, each one of them. So um, they've got a deep history, both personally and professionally. Uh, and so as a result, all that shines through. So it's a, it's a fun ride. Amazing. 
Barry, thank you so much for today. That was great. And I'll never, ever forget now that you walked in a corridor with a ton of... Uh, I know. I, I'm, 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 I'm nicking no, the punching myself. <laughs> thank you so much. Cheers for that.